Okay, real quickly how you uh, achieve the lightning effect. I imported some footage over here and I am going to double click on my movie clip and I have a clip here where I am going to make Mr. Yale shoot the lightning. So I'm going to remember right here, we want to right click and we want to do new composition from selection. And now I've got this new composition down here and I want to add the lightning effect. But before I do that, you have to add right up here at the very top where it says layer. You're going to click layer, new, solid. Okay, you're going to have a pop-up window up here and this is going to say solid settings. And you're going to choose, just make it the color black. You can select here and you can just go to the bottom of the corners and you can find the color black. If you didn't know it, the hexadecimal for black is six zeros. Then you hit OK. Oh, let me hit cancel here. I already have it on black. I'll hit OK. And what it did is, is here is our movie clip layer and then it did a black solid layer above our movie clip. So with that, we are going to go to our effects controls right here, effects and presets. And right here you have a search box. Click there and just start typing in the word light -ning. and it's going to show you the presets that are there or the effects that are there with lightning and we're going to look at this one here where it says horizontal lightning and you're going to grab it and you're going to drag it over drop it onto the screen now see it put the lightning effect right there and down here in the solid you have this long red uh, layer that's where it added the lightning effect at the same uh, time the same sequence as your bottom clip we're not going to need it to be near that long so you'll drag it down here or you'll drag it to the left to the size you need so what you got to do is you got to find where you want on your clip and on this clip i had where mr yell starts to point his finger right here at jaron and i'm going to take my lightning effect and i want it to start right there so it's going to start right there. But you see how it's way up here? I don't want it to be right there. I want to move it over here. So if you look over here in your effects control right here, you click on the lightning, advanced lightning. When you click on it, now you'll have movable points right here. So you can actually gra grab the end right here. You're going to grab the end and I'm going to move it over to the point of his finger. I'm going to grab the other end right here and I'm going to drag it to where the lightning is striking Jaren there. Okay, and then if you go down here to the scrubber and you scrub, stop coming up, you scrub, you can see the lightning strikes Jaren for a little bit. And then see right there, he points away. So I want the lightning to last as long as his finger is pointing at Jaren. So when it starts to move away, so I'm going to actually go and move it up forward just a little bit. So now if I play it for a render mode, you'll see it's striking Jaren. And then while all I did is when he moved his finger up to the next one, I took this same effect. This is black solid. Uh, and I just select it, select it right there. And if you do command D, that's a duplicate. Okay. So it duplicated that same layer. So now I have two lightning effects. So I need to move this one over and I need to actually change it. So when I, there's my first one, there's my second one. So right here, first one, second one. Now when I select the second one and I select the lightning effect, I can actually move the second one to where I make them shoot off into the distance. So, when you scrub, he shoots his first one, he moves his finger, comes up here and shoots the second lightning bolt. And then he shoots a third one. I won't do the third one right now, but you, so you get the idea. There's the first one and the second one. But if you saw in my brief um, completed video, I changed the color of the lightning. So how do we do that? Well, that's pretty simple. So select whichever one you want. So let's select the second one. Come up here to the top and you'll see that we have glow settings Click the drop down arrow and right here is the color. So select the color. You can change it to, like I changed the other one to blue 
click OK, and now when you go, now you have blue lightning. Green lightning, blue lightning. So, and you can keep on going and going and making all the lightning you want. All you have to do is Command D, which is duplicate that layer, and then you can add lightning all over the place. So that is just a quick tutorial on how to add the lightning effect in Adobe After Effects. Thank you.